Hello, Mr. Dre back with another video. And in this one, what we're gonna take a look at is multiplying a three digit number by a two digit number, but with a zero in one of the numbers that we're multiplying. Sometimes people call this multiplying across a zero. And we're also going to, while we're solving this, we're also gonna take a look at a strategy using your notebook, a little trick that um, might help you in solving not just multiplication but any type of math problems okay so let's take a look at this problem here it says in an auditorium there are 104 rows with 24 seats in each row how many seats are available so picture that we always read problems at least twice picture an auditorium right we have 104 rows of seats and in each row there are 24 rows I'm sorry, 20, 24 seats. So we have 104 rows, 24 seats in each row. How many total seats are available, right? So obviously we know we're gonna be doing um, 104 times 24. Obviously that's what we're gonna do to get our answer, right? 104 times 24. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, show you a way to use a math notebook. You can see I just have a normal um, math notebook here, right? And what I'm doing is, instead of holding it normally, like, you know, like you normally would, if you hold it sideways, what you just created is these nice columns, right? These nice columns that can be used to keep your work nice and organized. And what do we mean by that? Um, so I'm just gonna write 100, four times 24 and if you notice if I zoom in a little bit if you notice um, I'm writing the digits in between the blue lines right my digits are not on the blue line or touching the blue line the digits are in between the blue lines and what that's gonna do is that's gonna help us keep our work nice and organized right a lot of times I think with, with kids and even adults part of the reason why math is, is so hard it be, is so hard sometimes is because when you look at a problem it looks like numbers are all over the place and we can't keep track of what's what but do, using this simple trick though especially those of us who maybe don't write as neatly as we should in math um, because we rush or maybe our handwriting just isn't as neat as we would want it to be doing something like this can be very helpful right so 104 times 24 what we're gonna do is we're gonna start in the lower right which in this case is a 4 okay 4 times 4 is 16 6 goes down 1 goes up 4 times 0 is 0 but we still got to add the one. And this is why this is like a separate lesson in our book, because a lot of times when people see a zero, they just skip it. Well, if you have a number on top, you can't just skip it, right? And a zero, you have to think of it, a zero is a number just like five. A zero is a number just like nine or just like 15. Zero is a digit, so you can't just skip it, right? A lot of times we see a zero and we just, oh, it's nothing. A zero is a value, right? So, so far we did four times four is 16. Six went down, one went up. Four times zero is zero, plus one is one. And then four times one is four. So our first partial product is 104 times four. Our first partial product is 416. Now what we need to do is multiply by the 20 because we, we just did times four, but now we need to, this two is really a 20, it's 24. So because of that, we've already used this one, so I'm gonna cross it off. Because this two is really a 20, I'm gonna put a zero here, and that's gonna give the two the power of 20, right? Two times four is eight. Two times zero is zero. Notice how I didn't skip it. Two times zero is zero, and then two times one is two. My second partial product is 2,080, and kind of like Humpty Dumpty, who fell, fell and broke apart, you gotta put them back together again. What we just did with this problem is we broke 24 apart into 20 plus four, right? This is 104 times four. This is 104 times 20. So we broke it apart. Now we gotta put it back together again by adding, and we can quickly get our answer, 2,496. 
okay? You can see, look how nice and straight these digits are because we held our notebook sideways and um, everything's in nice neat columns, everything's nice and neat, right? Um, and we didn't get tricked by the zero. The zero is a digit, right? So just to make the case again what this was, this right here is 104 times four, and this right here is 104 times 20. And the total answer, obviously, is 104 times 24. So we broke these two apart, right? We broke 24 apart into these two, and it becomes back together again, 24. All right, so we hope that was helpful. Again, that was practice with multiplying with a zero, and that was also practice with holding our notebook sideways to keep our work nice and organized. Hope that was helpful, and we'll see you again on the next one.